So, during this quarantine season, I was re-watching one of the best anime of all time, Demon Slayer, Kimetsu no Yaiba, with a friend, his first time. I could go on and on about the fantastic animation and storyline, but we're all aware of that, right? The fact that Tanjiro's excellent sense of smell was able to relate Kibutsuji Miyazan's sent to the murder of the Kamadu family back then piqued his interest. Why would the demon king get down from his throne to murder a simple mountain family, he wondered. So I decided to tackle this intriguing subject for anime fans, who killed the Kamadu family? Which demon was it, exactly? Was it really Kibutsuji Miyazan? Simply defined, the Kamadu family's massacre was not a demon attack, but a deliberate attack. Due to her breath of sun user lineage, Kibutsuji Miyazan slaughtered the Kamadu family and converted Nezuko into a demon in his hunt for the ideal demon. The fascinating and enigmatic history of Tanjiro's family, as well as the extraordinary skills that Nezuko and Tanjiro possess, prove that their blood is special. Throughout the novel, hints about the Kamadu family and their deaths have been scattered. Tanjiro's status as a breath of the sun user, the color of his sword, the dance of the fire god's art, and Nezuko's ability to forego a human-oriented diet and resist the sun all added up to a deeper reality. Tanjiro's ancestor, Yurichi, the first demon slayer, was a breath of the sun user, which is no accident. As a result, the slaughter of Tanjiro's family was not a random act of violence, it was planned. So, who was the perpetrator? Kibutsu Jimizan, the demon, is the one who is endangered by their very existence. Mizan has a long and illustrious history with Yurichi. Mizan regards the Hanafuda earrings as a symbol of existential threat to which he clings. The fact that the Kamadu family has a heritage of passing down Hanafuda earrings is no accident. Muzan's encounter with Tanjiro exemplified Muzan's attitude toward Yurichi and the breath of the sun users. The Kamadu family's history is intertwined with that of the breath of the sun users, which is enough to make Muzan kill them. The fact that Muzan is the offender is backed up by Tanjiro's keen sense of smell. When Tanjiro detects Muzan's scent, he is able to immediately determine that he was present at the time of the murder. Tanjiro's situation could just be a result of his luck and Muzan's ignorance about the family's size. But why was Nezuko turned into a monster in the first place? Kokushibo is the answer. Muzan was on the lookout for persons who could survive sunlight when transformed into demons, the perfect demon, as we all know. Kokushibo has remained the Upper Moon Demon one for generations, in this scenario, his skills can be explained in light of his ancestor's Breath of the Sun user's ancestors. Muzan's choice to turn Nezuko into a demon could have stemmed from a successful experiment. Muzan has yearned for Nezuko to be able to endure the sun for centuries. There was another hypothesis floating about a few months ago, before the discovery. I believe it is important to mention, so here it is. Kokushibo is Yurichi's twin brother, it was revealed. He must have a lot of Miyazan's blood in his system for someone who is so high up in Miyazan's army. Although there were a few plot gaps in this notion, such as how Tanjiro didn't pick up the rest of Kokushibo's scent and little insight into Kokushibo's motivations, 